Hi everyone. Welcome to the Going For It Sim Studio. This is gonna be our most boring, but most exciting video that we put out. I'm gonna challenge myself to break 80 without leaving my house. And the kicker, I'm not a golfer. I have no idea what I'm doing. I don't even know how to set up a golf bag. I'm gonna utilize golf technology to prove that I can learn here before I walk outside and play a respectable score of less than 80. So for me to accomplish this goal, I set up this golf studio at my house in a very specific way. We're gonna go into all the details about exactly what I did and my decision process for every little piece of technology. But the important part is it for me is that it had to be a space that was dedicated. I know myself enough that if I just had a net up in the garage, I was not gonna come out here for hours and hours a day to accomplish a challenge. It's gonna be as difficult as this. I had to do a complete lifestyle change. I'm sitting in what used to be my bike shop in my storage area. It's a tandem space in my garage, and by the looks from your view, you would have no idea, right? I mean, at least that's, that's kind of what I went for. It's completely set up to look like a golfing space, and when I walk in here every day, I get excited, and I know I need to feel that excitement eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 months down the road. And so that was my vision and I felt like I accomplished it pretty well. I really think after doing all kinds of research on golf simulators and the technology and where it is now, that we could do things a bit different here. The golf simulator is no longer gonna be the supplementation when the weather's bad or when it's convenient. It's gonna be my main sport. It's gonna be my hobby. I'm gonna play golf inside a lot more than I'm gonna play outside. I've liked golf for many years and it's something that I've always followed. I've just never really had the time or the money really to go to my local golf course on top of riding bikes, on top of my job, on top of raising a family and hanging out with my wife to ever justify something like that. It's kind of where this challenge came from is like I started studying and learning about golf simulators. One thing led to another and this idea came up. What if I substitute it? What if we switch things? What about instead of outdoor golf being my main game? What if simulator golf was my main hobby, but I just added a little bit of outside into that? I like the idea of that. As I started researching, I realized that golf sims are really good, but I didn't see anybody learning on a golf simulator from the ground up. So that's where it all kind of came is like, I'm gonna do this in less than a year. We're gonna make it hard. Somewhere I'm gonna show some, through some dedication, some proper training techniques that I can make this happen. So I'm the type of person who wants to do everything at 110%. I only have one or two hobbies because I dedicate all of my time to it. So when it comes to golf, if I just went and golfed outside, it would drive me crazy to only be able to play a couple times a week. Having to set a tee time and then freaking out all day because I got a sales call that I have in the middle of my tee time. With a simulator, it's at my house. I can access it whenever I want. It doesn't matter what the weather is and it doesn't matter how much time I have. I don't have to say, I have to be at this place at this time and I have to get it done by here. I get to just walk outside just to be like, hey, I've got 45 minutes. I'm gonna go play however many holes or I'm gonna go work on my short game. That's what's gonna excite me. So instead of just being able to play golf a couple times a week, I'm gonna to get to play every day. So a big part of this challenge is me helping my viewers learn how to keep something like this exciting. A lot of the techniques that I learned from training to be an elite cyclist, I wanna bring into golf. So when I started racing bikes, I was told I should settle for being an amateur because I had a family and I had a job and there's just no way I was gonna have the time that's needed to become an elite level cyclist. I took that as a challenge. And the first thing I did was hired a world-class coach and I utilized everything I could to speed up my training. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna bring a lot of the techniques that I learned from cycling into golf, a little bit different than maybe what I mean that I definitely have not seen on YouTube on the standard golf channels. I was lucky enough to secure some sponsorship by brands that share our vision of what we're trying to do for the simulator world. About Golf Simulators, Carl's Place, and Styx Golf are gonna join us on this journey and get us where we need to go. The challenge is only the beginning here at Going For It. I'm gonna break 80 by only playing and learning inside. You may watch this and say, there's no way you have any chance of doing that. You may be watching and go, oh, I wanna see this happen. 
Do you think I can do it? Or do you think I'm gonna fail? Either way, I want you to comment and let me know what you think and subscribe and follow me on this journey because I'm gonna be going for it.